The Great Lakes State is no stranger to engineering marvels. And it's no wonder, given all the major waterways that permeate it. So for today's episode, we're highlighting a feat of aquatic engineering that revolutionized travel on the Great Lakes. Stay tuned as we marvel at the Sioux Locks in this Michigan Moment. The Sioux Locks are a set of multiple parallel locks located on the St. Mary's River between the Upper Peninsula and Canada. They allow ships to travel with ease between Lake Superior and the Lower Great Lakes. The locks are maintained and operated by the Detroit District of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. The name Sioux comes from the lock's position between the Michigan city of Sault Ste. Marie and the Canadian city of Sault Ste. Marie. Locks work through a series of gates placed into a waterway. When a vessel enters the first set of gates, they are immediately closed, allowing pumps to fill the closed chamber with water. Once the water in the chamber is level with the adjacent waterway, a second set of gates open, releasing the vessel. This also allows for a vessel traversing in the opposite direction to enter the now elevated lock. Here, the process is inversed, lowering the vessel to the lower waterway. Some of the earliest evidence of locks date back to 284 BC, where Greek engineers incorporated locks in the construction of the Canal of the Pharaohs. The construction for today's Sioux locks first began with the state lock, which was completed in 1855. In 1881, the U.S. Army assumed jurisdiction over the locks. That same year, the Whitesaw Lock opened. In 1896, the Poe Lock, named after famed Civil War Army officer and engineer Orlando Poe, was built. At the time, the Poe Lock was the largest in the world. Later, the Davis and Sabin Locks were built in 1914 and 1919. During World War II, the locks and the St. Mary's River were both heavily protected by U.S. and Canadian forces under the Army's Central Defense Command. The locks were considered vital to lake shipping, and it was also was believed at the time that an assault on the locks from German air bases in Norway was possible. In 1943, the MacArthur Lock, named after General Douglas MacArthur, was completed. Today, the locks are one of the most visited places in Michigan, attracting an estimated 500,000 visitors annually. With the 1968 reconstruction of the Polak, the locks can now accommodate the larger modern ships, such as the multiple thousand-foot vessels of the Great Lakes. In 2009, groundbreaking began on a new lock to replace the obsolete Davis and Sabin locks. Construction for the new lock is slated to be finished in 2030. Thank you for watching this episode. If you'd like to know more about Michigan, leave a comment and we'll see you next time on Michigan Moment.